Meanwhile, on the campaign trail, President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden are heading into the final stretch. As CBS 4's Bapta Imam reports, the two candidates not only differ on key issues, but they differ on how they're handling the final eight days of the campaign. President Trump arrived in Allentown for a full day of campaigning in Pennsylvania. So we have a uh, big event. We have three of them today, but this will be a... Uh a group of people that we know very well. The Keystone State is critical to the president's bid for a second term, and he has some ground to make up. The average of polls there shows Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden with a five point lead. I think we're going to win Pennsylvania by more than we did last night. Those numbers are closer than they were a week ago, a as the president deal. holds I'll multiple rallies a day, and Biden has had multiple days without a public campaign event, including today. She's waved a white flag on life. He doesn't leave his basement. I feel superstitious when I predict anything other than it's going to be a hard fight. CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell asked the former vice president about the perceived lack of enthusiasm surrounding his campaign during an interview with 60 Minutes that aired last night. Do you think there are a lot of people who are going to vote for you simply because you're not Donald Trump? Well, I hope there's going to be a lot of people vote for him because of who I am, but I think the contrast between Donald Trump and me is about as stark as it can get. Vice President Mike Pence is also very active on the campaign trail with several events today despite a second COVID outbreak at the White House involving his aides. The vice president's chief of staff, Mark Short, outside political advisor Marty Opst, and three additional aides recently tested positive for COVID-19. Mr. Pence's press secretary said while Vice President Pence is considered a close contact with Mr. Short, he will maintain his schedule because he is essential personnel. Both de Imam, CBS News, the White House.